hello guys welcome back so now we are going to implement the account setting screen but before proceeding to that we have to go to the user detail screen and we need to basically add some buttons and some conditions and the first condition is basically the back button okay the default back button you know that if you want that default back button then you have to set this to true in case of the current user if the current user see his his or her own profile then the back button will not be visible but for other people it will be visible as the user will wants to go back and view any other person profile so for that purpose the simplest and easiest way is here we can simply add a condition that is widget dot user ID if that become equals to the current user ID then it simply means that is the user own profile so we will not display the back button otherwise we will display that button now this is one way of doing it okay which is basically uh, the default which flutter app basically give us the default app bar okay even if we use it or we do not use it the best way for that will be instead of this I will simply comment out this okay let's say if some of the user wants this then they can proceed with this otherwise we can implement that back button manually as well and only in case of the other users it will be visible otherwise for the current user it will not be visible which means the same thing okay but this is the default button and we can implement our own manual code using which to which we can assign any icon we want okay for the going back to the previous screen so for that purpose we have a property in so here basically now we can provide to it our own default icon and our own action our own def uh, manual action that is what you want to perform if the user click on this icon let's say this icon is arrow back or you can add any you know this icon this icon whatever icon you like you can add that okay even you can also specify the size for it so when the user press on this back button we wants to go to the previous screen so you will say get dot back make sure to import get okay so it will send us to the previous screen now let's say in some cases uh, you may want to perform a different uh, functionality while pressing the icon which is at the leading leading simply means at the left side of the app bar okay so the default code was this one it will automatically basically display a back button okay of course according to the condition it will be visible only for other users the back default button but in case of the current user it will not be visible so I write this code just to explain the proper way how you can implement your own back button if you do not want the default one okay that is in your own button you can choose your own choice of icon which icon you want you can increase decrease the size of course you can provide the color to it and also the action which action you want to perform so anyways this was the manual code which we write when we want to implement the back button now the condition for this will be the same that is first we will check if it is the we will say that if widget dot user id not equals to current user id which simply means for any other user we will display this back button else we will display nothing but an empty container that is for the current user we will display nothing no back button also you notice that this is the sign out button and we want this sign out button only for the current user if the user view his own his or her own profile not for the other users so here we will also add a condition so what we can do here we can say that if it if the user ID 
become equals to the current user ID which means if that is the current user and he is viewing his or her own profile then we will display the logout button otherwise else do not display that now just like the sign out button or you can say the logout button is visible to the current user if he or she is viewing her own profile or his own profile similarly we will have account settings button where if the user wants to edit his or her profile information so for that purpose we will wrap our this icon button okay click here before this icon button i click on this yellow bulb and then wrap with row widget so only our this icon button we wrap inside a row widget because the reason for this is we are going to add another uh, icon button for account settings so this will be this icon will be good or also we have this other one icon which is a pencil icon okay so it is totally up to you which icon you want so this one is our account settings and when the user tap on it we will send the user to the account settings screen so let's quickly create right click on lib new let's create new folder screen now right click on account settings screen folder new dot file let's create a dot file import material dot dot create a statful widget we will give it name as account settings screen for now we will leave it empty okay we will just add here that is send the user to that screen let's test the application to see how it looks now please notice the code I mean the changes which we implemented as I told you Julia Smith is an online or you can say current user okay logged in user so if Julia Smith come to her profile you see that here you see the Julia Smith uh, I can see the account settings button and the logout button however if an online user or you can say the current user go to someone else profile let's say Angela Smith if I click on Angela Smith profile you see that that buttons become disappeared okay the settings and the sign out button disappear on someone else profile when I visit as a logged in user when I visit someone else profile that two buttons become disappeared and the back button become visible so I can go back and I can view someone else profile okay let's say John Parker you see that okay it is working fine but if I check my profile then you see that in my case the these two buttons appeared and the back button disappeared because I'm a logged in user and I have the navigation the bottom navigation so yeah now if we click on settings then this is our account settings screen on which we will work